for the evening. The first man to score a pinfall, a submission, or to exit the cage will be the WFC Heavyweight Champion. <laughs> Introducing first the challenger to my left. He hails from Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is terrific. A great reception for the WFC founder and owner. Will it be enough to bring him home the championship? And introducing his opponent to my right, he hails from Arkham City and is your reigning and defending WFC heavyweight champion, John Cross! And you see right there, what a, and a mixed reaction for the champion, John Cross. But there's one thing John Cross has, and he has confidence going into this cage match. And I want to bring up something that hasn't been mentioned yet, and that is that Tim Rockwell said to me in a conversation several weeks ago that he won, needed to have a very special referee in place here, not like the Dexter Hardaway referee in the previous match. That's right. He needed a tried and true, the best referee that ever existed in this state, and that's Mark Wilson right there putting on that's the right. stripes one more time. He hasn't been a referee for very, for, for quite a while uh, within this region. He's a man trained by Harley Race. He is a very accomplished ref referee, and he is in this cage. He's going to be the man in charge, and he will do everything in his power to make sure there's a clear-cut decision. And that's a, and it's a man that was both approved by both men. Both men know and respect uh, him very much and know what he can do and know how he's going to get things done in this ring. So I'm very excited that we've got him here tonight for this main event. And we are ready to go. Mark Wilson checking with both competitors main event here time fight for Haley and here we go there we go the bell sounds we are underway with this big time main event there is no match that has been this big in the five-year history of WFC and you can see you can look at the faces of both of these competitors they are ready they are prepared and they're gonna take no chances in the early stages of this match because they both know what surrounds that ring could mean the end of everything for them. Yeah, so this, this match right here is building and building and building, and this is the only way it could happen. This is the only way it could end when Tim Rockwell in that press conference said, we're doing it in a cage. The whole WFC universe took notice and said, here we go. And there we go. First Take shot at the ring right there, Tim Rockwell. And that's not something that terrific Tim Rockwell would normally do. That's the side of the natural born villain coming right out real quickly. Like I said, he told us that here earlier in the night that that's what he's going to bring. And that's exactly what he's going to bring. He's going to bring that intensity, that violence, that anger, that hatred he has inside of him and that he puts down inside of him for these kids. And tonight he's going to destroy Tim. He's going to destroy John Cross. Oh, both men trying to ram each other into that steel cage, trying to take advantage of a momentary opportunity. And you see, and you see the way that cage is put together there. In the middle, right there where the seam is, there's all those jagged, sharp edges. And they were talked to in the back, and they said, we're going to clean these up. And they said, leave them. Leave them. Leave it jagged, just like our feud, just like our hatred. It's jagged and just torn up. And John Cross immediately going upstairs. It looked like maybe he was going to go over the top row of the cage. Oh, but instead, turns back, tries to take advantage of, of Rockwell off the top rope. Downstairs into that midsection there. John Cross back up to his feet. Running knee into the temple of their WFC heavyweight champion. Crisscross neck breaker right there by Tim Rockwell. And remember, fans, this can be won by pinfall submission or escape of the cage. So you can wear your opponent down either to hope to gain a victory over him or you can wear them down and simply walk out under your own power. You don't actually have to win, win by pinfall or submission in order to be victorious in this match. You see Tim Rockwell there getting the adoration of his fans here. Rockwell goes for the knee. John Cox catches him right into that cage. Uh, there we see? go. He's going to start throwing him into it now. That's the danger. Notice on this side when he, when he did that second one, Rockwell's shoulder hit that brace on there. Right. When, when oh, Rockwell, right in the middle again, yeah. When Rockwell talked to, to Rocco Valentino, I was there for the cage match between Rocco Valentino and Jimmy Kane. I was front row right in front of the door. Right. And I can tell you, and Rocco will confirm this, that about 30 seconds into that match, Jimmy Kane threw him very much the same way. Rockwell suffered a separated shoulder, still fought the remainder of the match, and was victorious in it. And that's the one thing you're going to see from John Cross. John Cross isn't here to win this championship. He has the championship. 
He's here to survive this match, retain his championship, and hurt Tim Rockwell. In fact, I think maybe he wants to go even further beyond just hurting Tim Rockwell. I think he wants to take advantage of this situation and put Tim Rockwell out for good. Yeah, I think I think he's done with Tim Rockwell meddling in what he believes is his ooh, is his WFC. Did you ever play that old like a WWF game where where they had a steel cage and you were tag teams and you could throw your opponent in and they would just bounce off of the cage? Right. Because that's what it looked like Tim Rockwell doing right right there. You know? Yeah, that's yeah. It's you hit that rope and the cage at the same time, so you have two objects that are just grinding at your back. I mean, hitting those ropes are not good. I mean, you and I aren't trained professionals, but we've been in that ring. We felt those ropes. Hitting those ropes are hard. Those are cages, and you hit that cable and a jagged metal steel cage at the same time, and you hit him just working. Just just gonna pummel him. He's just gonna he's just gonna ruin his day. He wants to ruin his career, and he wants to show him that he is the only and will be the only WFC heavyweight champion in this history's existence. Ah, uh, that time Rockwell bouncing off that rope, coming oh, a spear, spear by Rockwell. And he's getting fired up here. You see him, he's just building off of that, the fans, and he's building off his fire. Oh, off that cage though. He's just taking him to school here, throwing him against his cage. John looks a little out of it there. Looks a little yeah. wherewithal there. Cross delivered to all four sides there, and now Rockwell going for the kryptonite crunch. Drops him real good right in the middle of the ring. Not didn't get all that cover though. John out of two. And Rockwell trying to draw up support from the fans there. Building up that support. Crowd getting behind him here. He fights against John Cross just like Haley fights every single day. And Cross, Cross underneath no, the bottom not, rope not there. Not a good place to be. He's trying to get a timeout. And Mark yeah, Wilson knows he's, no. there's no timeouts in the cage match. Not in, not in this match. You, 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 even the ropes themselves and, are not going to save you. Rockwell with that elbow. Oh, that knee pad down just runs right into his shoulder. Just driving his knee into that shoulder slab, collarbone of John Cross. Just again right there. Just pressing him against that steel cage. You know, we, we heard XCal talk earlier about his relationship with Tim Rockwell, about being the best friend of Tim Rockwell for many, many years. I happened to witness um, about almost a little over 10 years ago, a massive series of matches between XCal and Tim Rockwell as Rockwell go, goes for the figure go. four here. And I can tell you that the two of those men beat each other from one post to the other, yeah. and they're best friends. So here's here's this, the villain. Here's the here's, villain yeah. right there. Like there you, you said, go. That's exactly what you're talking about. At the beginning of the match here. He's going to use every opportunity he has. All that leverage. He's pulling down on those legs. I mean, John's got to watch. Her. He's going to count it out. Mark Wilson right on top of that. John Wilson or John Cross is in an amazing predicament here, as he has got to relieve that pressure. And again, down with the shoulders. He's got to kill. Oh man. Oh, that was that was you close. Saw, you see John's face when he sat up looking at Mark Wilson. He said, "Not that way. Not tonight." John's got a fun to get out of this because Tim's not gonna let go. Oh, you see him just break the Damn, eyes. Yeah. That's the only way out of it. It was the only way out for John Cross. There's a reason why John Cross has been WFC champion. It's not a fluke. Three, yeah, 385 days. He's a smart man. He's an assassin in that ring. He knows where to be, when to be, and how to do it no matter what. And right there you saw it. He let Tim get the that that safe wall. He thought, oh I've got him, I've got him. I've been oh Rockwell right. trying oh, to go for the right DDT. DDT. Cross Ooh. ramming him right again back into that, that center brace on the cage. There's that turnout. And that was only a one count, said Mark Wilson. He was up before two. Shows a lot of fight determination left inside Tim Rockwell, which really should not surprise either of us. Agreed, yeah. No, there's, there's not. I, as I said, there's nothing that's going to surprise me tonight. These two men are coming in, they're going to give everything. I know they're going to give everything. They're not. Ooh, big clothesline. That there was no way that I was going to be surprised by these two men coming in here and fighting tooth and nail and just beating each other. Oh, barely. Oh, just a one. Again, Tim just, just kicking shit out of yeah. it, yeah. Could it be perhaps a little bit of, of overconfidence on the part of John Cross? Does he, does he think that the cage is doing all the work for him? Because believe me, even though the cage is, is absolutely an obstacle, the cage is a weapon that can be uh, used, but you still, have to, you still have to be able to accomplish some of this on your own skill yourself. Right, and, and you saw when, uh, when Rocco said to Tim, you know, hey, uh, the cage is who you're fighting. John Cross took exception to that. 
He said, no, you're fighting me. You just have to do it inside of a cage. And I think he's showing him that the cage isn't the man who's going to make him not be the WFC heavyweight champion. It's John Cross. Well, I would, I would beg to say, as much as I don't like to, I would beg to say that John Cross does not have the experience in cage matches that Tim Rockwell does, either on his own or in tag team competition with, with Bernard Funk. And I think that John Cross perhaps is overestimating uh, the importance, sorry, underestimating the importance of the steel cage in the, in the whole thing here. And now John Cross is stripping down the knee pad on that right knee. He's kind of doing tit for tat. John Cross, or, uh, Tim Rockwell earlier saw him pull his knee pad down when he ran those knees into the shoulder blade. Uh, but John Cross and uh, uh, John Cross doing the same thing here, pulling his knee back, uh, pulling out that uh, exposed uh, knee there. I think he's probably going to do. He's going to show him. He's going to exactly. Just, right. Oh man, just unprotected same knee right up to the side there. And it's interesting that Cross decided not to ram him into the cage, but instead to ram him into the top turnbuckle so he could position him nicely in that corner and then drive it in yeah. without having to exert any effort to drag him over. That's right. That's right. And and he doesn't have to. He's, he's staying away from that cage. He's throwing himself into a turnbuckle into the cage. It's smart on. John's part. Now Cross applying pressure to the arm, to the neck with this move. Forcing Rockwell's face over the look of pain again in the direction of Haley. That's right, he's got it. And he's got, I believe he's got his fingers grasped around his lower back there as well. He's got that uh, that uh, elbow right underneath that chin, and he's just pulling back all that pressure. And again, if John Cross were to let this slip down really into a choke, there, there's nothing Mark Wilson can do about that. Right. There's, there's no disqualification in the cage match. And you see him just, you see him with the torque of his body. That's what he's doing. He's pulling that, his other arm back farther around his body. He's just pulling it across his throat. Mark will fight out of it. Feeding off this crowd here, feeding off Haley, feeding off his... Other fighters here in the crowd, and back to the cage, John Cross. It's not broke, don't fix it, and John Cross is definitely gonna use that cage as advantage every opportunity he gets. John's an idiot! I'll quit. What did you just say? You're an idiot! Who said that? I said, I said. Oh, and John Cross now, allowing the, uh, the children on the front row there to get underneath the skin. I said, I think that's back to what you were saying about his confidence, about his overconfidence. I, think, yeah, I, think, I don't think he can underestimate the founder of WC. Oh, there you go. See, that's... That's the kind of things that I don't think I don't think Tim's ready for. He, Tim calls himself that he's bringing the villain out tonight, and I think he had a, would have a lot to learn from John Cross about being a villain because John Cross has been doing it for 385 days. Big drop kick right to the upper back there. A very confident John Cross up the stairs and looks over in the direction of Haley. Always confident, John Cross. Doesn't go for the pinfall. <laughs> this is the man. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Just switching tracks right there. Tim Rockwell, desperation, pulling John Cross straight into that crossbar. And John Cross, he won this championship in a ladder match. Yes, in, he did. In, in a type of match that I never have, will probably ever see again. That was uh, violent. It was. Uh, just gratuitous. It was, it was, and here they are back and forth. So I don't think, I don't think John Cross was intimidated by this match. And here they are just going toe for toe, just face to face. Two men that know each other very well. Two men that have been, that were forced to team together when uh, Rockwell had to be a part of the Cabello Cartel. Right. And is that bad blood just flowing over? And and I wonder how much each man really benefited from this match in that forced teaming. Because right. any time that you're forced to work with somebody, whether you like them or not, you learn things about them. And I think I think uh, I think Cross may be busted open. I see a blood across the hand of Rockwell. Oh, uh, see, see, here's yeah, here's that villain. He's busted Rockwell. open and he smells it. Rockwell has drawn first blood, and that is very could be very very important in the course of this match. We'll still get that boot up somehow. I right, can't see it. We we'll don't have a very good look over here, at John Cross, but I can tell that the forehead has been busted open. Just those, with those straight shots from Rockwell. No one's pulling punches in this match. No one's slapping each other. These are men punching each other. A rock, but Cross, face. Cross, notably weakened now. He, he collapsed down to a knee there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's uh he's hurting. I mean, this is this is a grueling match. We don't. There's a reason why there aren't a lot of these 
matches because these, like you said, will take years off your career. Oh, here. There he spine goes, buster. spine buster. One of Tim Rockwell's signature moves. A big time spine buster. Oh, and the, the, the cameras didn't pick it up on, on our side, but Jake O'Brien just came to our, our announce table and picked up the heavyweight championship yeah, belt. I just saw that I, he, over your shoulder. I didn't see him come over there, but I see him walking towards the ring now. I'm not exactly sure. I think uh, I think well, he's is he gonna take it in. I mean, obviously, it in the match. Know, I'm assuming. I'm sure that, that Stevie Caballero has, has ordered to make sure that John Cross retains you see this John, championship. John's grasping for it now. He's crawling to it. He's uh, crawling, but he's uh, Cross having he's, that belt and fed. Rock, Rockwell's gonna go over to the top. No oh, man, right in that lower spine. Jake O'Brien just, I think he's pleased with his dirty work and he's back out of the curtain. Well, O'Brien hanging around at the uh, the entranceway to admire his work. And meanwhile, Cross, Cross headbutting him with that busted with that busted forehead, just headbutting him. Cross now bracing himself. He's not even on the top turnbuckle. Oh, Cross going over the top. He's going, Cross over, going, he's going over, over the top. top on top of is, Rockwell. Can Rockwell he's, the Rockwell's got him intercepted. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, wow! Huge spine buster off the top. Both men are just down. Neither one are even coming to. I think that that was again pure desperation on Tim Rockwell. John Cross not only is bleeding, he's just in the middle of that ring. Huge spine buster. And Rockwell now crawling over towards the exit. Yeah, I think Rockwell, that could be Rockwell motioning to JJ Heffley right, to open the door. The door yep. This is how Rockwell Valentino won the match. He went out the door. He didn't pin Jimmy Kane. He didn't make him submit. He escaped. Oh, and Jake O'Brien. Oh my God. O'Brien. Oh, O'Brien. Just that door straight in his head. JJ's got to get him back. You see Cross taking Cross watched it. He watched him from the back. He waited. Pulls him back in the ring. Goes to that pinfall. And Cross may well have it. Oh! O'Brien can't believe it. And I think a lot of the fans here can't believe it that John Cross was not able to capitalize on that move. But look at look at O'Brien. He's just tearing the ring. Well, apart. yeah, we talked about it earlier, O'Brien. Oh man. Oh man. Look out here. Oh my god. Just destruction on the outside, destruction on the inside. We knew this match was, oh, now he's just pulling a table out. Well, the cohesiveness of at least part of the cartel is certainly still there. Right, we talked about that earlier in Simply the now, Future's match. He's just, look at he's introducing a table. A table in a steel cage match. That's something that this I, I, the kind of, I, I don't tend to see very I, often. I just got done saying I wasn't going to be surprised by anything, but now look at me. Here I am. I'm surprised. They're dragging a table. Jacob Bryan tore the ring, the cage apart. And here comes so, STF. ST, oh, here we go. Oh, man. Now, uh, Jacob Bryan is well, happy with the circuit. STF isn't very happy with what's going on right now. I, I little maybe a little dissension. Yeah, I don't understand. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on with STF. I mean, they stand side by side with Jake O'Brien here. I, I think he's he's telling the open. He's telling him having to come on out, opening the door for John Cross to make his way out. Oh man! Oh, wow! Super kick by Alex. Close line by JD. And all of a sudden, Jake O'Brien is no longer a factor. Wow. And the door closes the on door John Cross's is escape. Oh, and the Cavalier Cartel shirts are off. Simply the future are done. Oh, I, I guess. I guess I'll have to be going to an Oakland fan and change them to former members wow. of the Caballero Cartel because uh, their partnership is definitely open down. So we got two men down on the outside. We got two men down on the inside. We got a table inside the ring. And you see, look at John Cross's face. And there's Tim Rockwell right in. There we go. Middle of the ring, nose to nose, just like we started. Neither men backing down. I think John Cross knows he's on his own now. Well, lefts and rights all over the head of John, John Cross. John Cross back up. Oh! Huge thrust kick straight to the face. Oh, Rock, I don't think Rockwell knows where he is. You asked for this, for this. 
He's just screaming, you asked for this. Well, he has a point there. He demanded that this happen. And right up against the cage. God. God. Twice. Is he going to go for I, a I, third I, one? I don't think Tim's conscious anymore. Yeah, I don't. That's three in a row. That's he's, three in a row. John Cross, check on see if he's even John Cross can walk out of the cage right now anytime he wants to. There's no way. There is no way that Tim Rockwell can continue to compete. But, but you heard match. what he said. He said, you asked for this, and yeah. he's giving it to him. I've never seen two men put It's such only the weight of the rope itself, briefly, that was supporting Tim Rockwell yeah. as you see him now completely collapse down. Yeah. Rockwell, Rockwell's hopes are over I'm, here. I'm amazed that he's even responsive. John Cross. He, he just, he's go. telling, he just told Mark Wilson, no, I'm, I'm still here, I'm still fighting, I'm not going to give up. <laughs> now you, you just got to know the devilish things that John Cross has in store for Tim Rockwell. Oh, oh great, great find DDT! At least I think it was a great find. I couldn't see if he wrapped that leg around, but it was certainly a DDT. I think he got it around just as he went to go down with him. I think Tim's a little out of it, a little woozy from those kicks into the cage. Well, that's an understatement if I ever heard one. Yeah, I, I don't know how it is that Tim Rockwell is still conscious. Yes, there he is. He's getting that fight behind him, getting that crowd behind him. Our referee's still on the ground outside. Rockwell. We've got a torn up cage. We've got a table in the ring. We've got two men who are fighting for the greatest prize in this company, the New MC Heavyweight Championship. Rockwell will not stop fighting. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to pry this championship from John Cross's cold dead hands. Rockwell back on his feet. Uh, he may be trying to go out the top. I think, I think he still feels that Car Caballero presence whether or not he knows it or not. Man, I, I, after all those, uh, those three boots up against the steel oh, cage, I wouldn't try Cross. to position myself up there because his footing is not solid. No, you saw John Cross sit up and just laugh. And, and Cross, Cross quickly scaling that cage. Oh, uh, God. This, oh, God. This, is this going to be a German? Is this uh, really going to be a German? He will, kill, will kill, kill, he will kill Tim Rockwell if he does this. Oh, look at him. Just uh, cross elbows off the top there. Cross down on the mat, still bleeding from the forehead. Rockwell at the top. If he has any chance at all, he should go over the top. He's got He's one going. leg over now. And Cross once again. Oh! Well, there's no defense against that. Natural born villain, meet the Cross out. Cross with repeated headbutts to Tim Rockwell. Just throwing his head at Tim Rockwell. With no regard for his own well-being, he just is going to bury Tim Rockwell, and he's going to bury him inside this cage here in Claremore tonight. Oh, wow. Sit down, side slam. And Cross going to go for the cover. Cross covers the eye. Oh! Cross thought it was going to be 386, but no. I don't know how Tim Rockwell was able to do that. I literally can't Neither does John Cross. John is just unbearable. He doesn't even understand what just happened. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. John Cross with a kick right to the side of the head of Bart Wilson. And Cross, what the hell is he doing yeah. now? How are you gonna win the ref the match if you got no referee? He's just just destroying Mark Wilson. I think this this is just a fit of rage. John Cross has lost it. He's out of control. He will do anything in his power to walk out of here tonight, the WFC heavyweight champion still. But that's the thing. He's taking out JJ Heffley on the outside, he's taking out Mark Wilson on the inside. I'm not sure that John Lee Kircher is still around here. Who is going to Who's going to make the official decision in this match? I don't think, I, I think the only thing official that John wants to happen is he wants to bury Tim Rockwell. And he doesn't need referees or any officials to do that. He's going to do it by himself. One man, one man in that ring. So here's that overconfidence that you're talking Cross about. Cross just, well, well, I mean, at this point, it's really not so much overconfidence. It's not like Tim can get a pinfall. It's not like Tim can win this match. But neither can John Cross. So now it's just going to come down to the two of them. They're just going to take it out on each other. And Cross once rip, again. Ripcord clothesline. And he's not done. See, I, he's not going for pain falls. He's not going to leave the cage. He's going to put Tim down for good. Brain buster. Brain buster. Ah. 
as if Rockwell's head had not suffered enough damage. And then you see right now, John Cross realizes what he's done. In that fit of rage and that anger, like you said, he took out the one thing he needed to actually right. win into this match. That's right. And now Cross has got to wonder, how is it that I can do what I stepped in this ring to accomplish? Now looking upstairs, well, he's. I think he believes if he can escape this cage, whether or not he's got referees or not, that he's still going to be well, this champion. I mean, I guess the video footage would prove that he escaped the yeah. cage. And you know, Dexter Hart is watching in the back. I think he's. I think he knows what's happening. I think he's letting it happen because I think he needs this. These two to finish this tonight. Unless I forget, there's still a table sitting in the ring. And Tim Rockwell is sat up. He's staring. Tim Rockwell is staring a hole in the behind of. He's of challenging Ross. him to go over the top rope. He's looking at me and he's saying, be a man. Finish me. Uh, John, I, I'm not sure what you're doing here, but uh, it's he's, not I that know, type of show. I know what he's doing. Oh. He's going for a weapon. Oh, okay. And he's just going to beat John with, his, with a belt. With Tim with a belt. got it wrapped around his fist and he's just beating Tim Rockwell in the head with that leather strap. And Tim just grasping at his knee, just uh, trying to hold himself up. Oh. Again, those repeated strikes to the side of the head and onto the neck, further injuring whatever was done earlier in, in the three kicks up against the side of the steel cage. He's just a rag doll. Tim crawled, uh, Tim, He's just a ragdoll in that ring. I mean, I would say at this point, the referee may need to actually just stop the match for the, for the physical safety and health of Tim Rockwell, but there is no referee to do that. Right, yeah, Mark Wilson is out completely. Oh. Oh. And Rockwell just continues to absorb the punishment. John Cross able to do all of this as he wishes. I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what's going to, I don't know what John Cross's plan is now. I don't know what he's going to accomplish now that he's really has taken out everyone rings. I mean, there's no one left. He's pointing at the table. Well, I mean, you might as well. Jacob O'Brien put it in the ring for him. You might as well use it. Look at this crowd. They're just running it. They're just waiting. now securing that table in the ring. Quite clearly, he just simply waits for his own opportunity to pick up Tim Rockwell and I would presume drive him through that table. Yeah, he's got awful intentions, obviously. Put the exclamation point on this whole thing and then I guess walk out of the cage, call for video footage review and, and just declare that he's still WFC champion, that's, that's the only thing I can see. JJ is still completely unconscious yeah. from the attack from Jake O'Brien. Mark Wilson has been destroyed. I think, I think John Oh, he's going to brain buster. He's going to give him a brain buster through the table. Wait, no. He's, uh, he looking, at? he's no. looking at the cage. No, no, no. No, I mean, there's, come on. I mean. There's got to be a limit, right? I, yeah, I. Across, laying Rockwell across the table. I, I, mean, I, actually be thought, I actually thought he might take Rockwell up there and brainbuster him from the top yeah, rope yeah, through yeah, the table. I mean, uh, but I, like, I don't know what Cross yeah. exactly has. Is he going to go maybe for a double stomp or a, a frog splash through? Or, I don't know. I, I just, all I know is that this isn't going to end well. This is not, not going to end well for anyone, and this is going to ruin. This is going to end someone's career. Cross positioning himself on that top rope. You see him just staring. Just dead in the eyes. Cross slowly and methodically doing what he does. Just dead in the eyes, just waiting. And he's, uh, no, you see, he see, he thought he was happy. done. No, he's, he's going to the top. top rope. He's going to the top of the cage. Jesus. Cross sits perched on the top of the cage, gazing down at his kingdom. Just, just 
taking in every moment, just waiting. And this, I can't, I can't even. No promises. There is being there no way. There is no way this is going to end well for either of these men. This cross positions himself on the top. Cross stands fully aloft at the top of the cage. WFC champion, 385 days. He will do anything. And John Cross, oh my God, oh my God! Tim Rockwell, at the last second, rolled off the table, Cross, impacted the table, the table rolled with him, and it didn't break, and I can tell you, that hurts worse Golly, than if it actually had broken and collapsed in there. John Cross may have suffered a spinal injury with that. Yeah, I'd be amazed if he can walk out of this. Either men can walk out of here by themselves. I mean, we're a little obstructed, we can see a little bit from the, from the camera we have here, but Tim is back to his feet. John looks like he's completely out, he's just in the middle of the ring, you see him sprawled out there. Rockwell yeah. sees the carnage in the ring. Rockwell sees the devastation. He knows he's got a great opportunity here, but still, there's no official that can count a pinfall or recognize. Wow. And he just, yeah, he just, he, like, there's the villain. There, he's just there, gonna leave. There goes your family friendly event. Let me yeah, tell you that. Just Rockwell leaving. opens the cage door. He's Rockwell. Just leaving. Rockwell opens up. And he's gone. He's gonna be WFC heavyweight champion. Is this gonna be official? Rockwell steps out, but I think he's got—he's got to step all the Wait, way to the you floor. See, you see your hand on a monitor. You see John stirring. Uh, we can't see it from the big camera. No, yeah, Art, look at Art. him. And and Cross, Cross, taunting him. He said, "I think he's saying you can't beat me. Not that way." And Tim, Tim fell for it. Tim fell for it. Tim Rockwell says. I'm going to put you down. Uh -oh. by DDT in the middle of the ring, but there is no There's referee. No referee. There's no one pinfall. No one. There's can no count one there this. to cover. He's got it. He's trying to revive Mark Wilson. I think Mark Wilson. Uh, he may be able to get him back in there. Mark. Mark is crawling. And there it is. There you go, gentlemen. Terrific, Tim Rockwell has done the undoable. Look at this crowd, this crowd has come unglued. These kids all around this whole place. Tim Rockwell has ended 385 days. Wow. Of John Cross dominance of WFC. I, I'm, I'm speechless, what a, I mean, what a fifth anniversary. What an exclamation point on Tim Cross. A Tim and Cross feud, I mean, just these two men 